Um, I just bought the Togard 12 inch 2.5K um, Super Night Vision rear view mirror. Uh, does streaming media front and rear. Um, comes with a backup camera and everything. And I saw it and I was like, ooh, I want that. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing video, show you what all the parts and pieces come with. And then after I install everything, I'm going to show you how it looks. So this is what I saw when I took it out of the box. It came very well packaged from Amazon as usual. Um, pick up the box it is very heavy very beefy that was the first thing i thought of when i saw it i was like "Ooh, what's this so let's take it out and we'll put the phone down real quick so came in a foam lined box this comes out but it's a very 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 nice box the first thing you think of is ooh. Um, so here's the unit itself comes wrapped in styrofoam plastic it's not that heavy but it's still it's it doesn't feel chintzy um, we'll spool it out here so that's the face of it which it's long dude like it, they say 12 inches it's it looks bigger than that but then on the back of it there's the clips where it clips on that's the rear cam that's the front facing camera microphones both sides which is really cool but actually i think one is going to be the microphone i guess another one is going to be the speaker for the voice audio for gps um there's your plugins up top for all the goodies, your SD memory card reader, GPS plug-in, audio visual in, and USB. I assume that's for the rear view cam. Um, but yeah, rock and roll. So I set that to the side. Face it down. More foam. Top layer of the box, and here's all your parts and pieces. Uh, this is the rear cam. That's a standard jack like an audio jack kind of style which is pretty cool i kind of thought that would be usb because of the video but cool um power power plug and this is the gps unit and this is one of the big reasons i bought this because a lot of these rear view mirror cams really don't have their own standalone gps they kind of require you to plug your phone into it and sync it and yeah so it's kind of half-assed so if your phone goes or whatever if, if your phone's out of service or whatever i guess you're out of luck but most gps on your phone just keep on trucking they have their own gps signal but this was one of the major factors that why i bought this because i wanted the separate gps function um and this looks like adapters for bigger mirrors like mine i have a 2004 chevy suburban it's got a very big old fat OnStar rear view mirror. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to open this up real quick and see what's up. I see stickers and I just want to see what they are. Alrighty. So in the bag, we have one, two, three of those extension straps. Ooh, that's neat. So to put on your dashboard, so people look in the rearview mirror and they see dash cam recording. That's pretty cool. I like that. Big old F you to the people that drive like assholes. So if you ever have somebody uh, try to brake check you, the nice little thing they get before that video gets sent to your local police department or whoever is, uh, yeah, good times. So and this is an instruction manual. It's not just three pages. It's actually a very, looks like be well in depth. I'm going to read it here in a minute. And a couple, four sticky pads. I guess those are anti-vibration for it. I will read the directions, find out. Nice little tool here, probably to pop it off and on. Um, but yeah, alrighty. 
So time to do some installing, I'll be back. So this is the camera adjusted and it, my hood is just barely out of the way. So if I tilted it down just a little bit, you can just barely see my hood. And it's, I've got it set in five minute loops. It's still doing its little thing where it's like building up a base of uh, you know format and all that other stuff. I put a 128 gig card in it, level 10, basically the best I could find at Walmart. It was like $22. Um, it's level 10, all that good stuff. It supports the 2K, 2.5K streaming and all that other good stuff. I've got everything formatted. I guess mile an hour, time, date, everything. Um, it looks beautiful. Like, and that's just the front cam. I'm gonna hook up the rear cam next and it should give me a split screen. And then it also gives you the option of having the regular rear view with a little box in the back showing the rear view. So, I'm looking forward to that, and as you can see, I still have access to all of my OnStar settings. It is on there just a little offside, but that was to make uh, room for the front cam. Um, yeah, not a big deal. I still have to route this cable up in, in my uh, thingy here. No big deal there, but uh, all in all, very, very pleased. All right, success. Everything's hooked up. It took a uh, better part of Two and a half hours to hook everything up it was pain in the butt as far as running the wiring and getting it proper and i have a 2004 chevy suburban so i decided to route everything over the top and coming down through the driver's side here and uh power i ran past as i'll show you here in a minute um so for future notice it is designed to be mounted underneath the bumper or underneath of the bumper like it's designed to fit upside down with the wiring underneath that i did it upside down the other way i mounted it to the top of my suburban which i'll show you or not i'll do a separate hang on damn it and this is my placement they gave me some little rubber sticky carriers to hold the uh wiring down so no big deal but rather than mount it with the bracket i chose to put it on a piece of 3m sticky pad that was intentionally used as the gasket for the bracket. And I was fairly confident that that'd be fine. If it, for any reason it moves, I could fabricate a new bracket, but this is where I wanted it. And it's on there really, really good. And I've already gone down the road with it. There's no shake to it. And then I tucked everything up in here and then ran it all along my upper rail. And then brought, this is the GPS line, and this is my rear view, and it comes in right through here, and I tucked everything under. All in all, not bad. They give you that little orange tool that I'd mentioned earlier. That is a trim tool that helps you lift up the trim and tuck everything in nice, and I have to go over everything again and just do a little nicer job nipping. But that's all of the wires and stuff. Um, SD card is in. Everything's hooked up, everything works amazingly. The rear, I mean, it, that is just pretty. Cause as I, I told, told a lot of trailers and I wanted to be able to see over my trailer and it's perfect. Like I have full coverage behind me on both lanes. It's a definite, definite, definite upgrade. So I'm really, 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 really pleased with it. Um, just a quick show you. If you swipe right, it shows you front and rear which okay. she likes to talk sometimes randomly. I haven't figured out how to use the voice activation yet, but uh, yeah, swipe to the right and it changes views, dual view for the front and rear. And then if you swipe to the left, it shows you all of the videos that have been going on. I have it set for a five minute loop. So with 128 gig card, so it'll just roll and roll and roll and roll until it fills up all the five minute clips and then it starts eating up the oldest clip first and goes through, so cool beans. But yeah, all in all, all in all, totally, 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 really impressed with it. Um, worth the money is a little on the price your side, but I like it, I'm glad I got it versus the cheaper version from, there's another company that kind of had the same idea with it, but uh, my friend called me and said, dude, tight so i'm very happy with it so thank you very much and thank you for watching this and hopefully it was helpful bye
Turn off screen. Okay. Turn on screen. Okay. Show front camera. Okay. Show rear camera. Okay. Show both cameras. Okay. Turn on audio. Okay. Turn off audio. Okay. 